ladies and gentlemen, today we would like to share and explain regarding our project of IMR604, Oral Documentation Named Strategies in Preserving Fatima Abu Bakr's Biographical Data and Oral History Project. Ladies and gentlemen, this project consists of three members, which is Fitri Bakis Akuma Bitimama Asri, Putri Izati Bentiso Kepli, and Surika Lamban Kirstifa Chen. And we are from Faculty of Information Management, UITM Puncak Perdana. Without further ado, let's begin. First and foremost, as can be seen on the screen, this is our poster of our oral history project. Now, I will pass it to the next presenter. Hello and hi, my name is Selika Laman Christopher Lee Chen. Today, I'm going to present about the introduction and also the program statement of our research. In this oral history, we managed to interview Fatima B. Binti Abu Bakar, or better known as Fatima Abu Bakar, who is a well-known Malaysian actress, acting host, uh, and also former journalist at the New Straits Times Malaysia. Her name is a no stranger in acting and also film. Uh, in this research, we have successfully obtained the biography, perspective on women empowerment and the entertainment industry based on Puan Fatima Obakar experiences. She started acting on theatre then finally starred in her first film which is Maria which was released in 1984 directed by Shuhaimi Baba. She was chosen by Shuhaimi Baba in her film because of her outstanding uh, talent when active in theatre arts. The problem of this study that can be identified during the study is the difficulty of finding suitable figure who is agreed to be interviewed. Uh, the researcher also has contacted various figure that is suitable for the study but it took a long time to get a response from those figure. Therefore, the interview element of this study or research has, has to be conducted a little later than planned schedule. Next, the researcher also faced difficulties in finding a suitable interview place because the interview had to be conducted close to the house of the figure at the request of the figure. Uh, in addition, the researcher also experienced difficulties in obtaining additional information on the internet as the authentic information about the figure is not available. Assalamualaikum, my name is Putri Izati Binti Zokapi. Next, allow me to proceed with the objective. The first objective of this project is to establish related information about Puan Fatima Abu Bakar. Next objective is to build references for the information about Puan Fatima Abu Bakar. Other objective also includes to establish local contact. And lastly, the last objective is to enhance the literary aspect. Next, I will continue with the novelty. Within this oral history project, researchers are able to establish information about Puan Fatima Abu Bakar. For example, her biographical data and other additional information that includes her experience in Malaysia's film industry. Through this project, researchers are also managed to develop references which are related to Puan Fatima Abu Bakar's information for current and also future reference. In addition, this project also enriches literature and also enriches local contact. Next, as for the benefits to intended users and society, this project helps users or researchers to search for any related information specifically about Puan Fatima Abu Bakar. Apart from that, this project also provides more information about Malaysian veteran artists. In addition, this project also preserves the biographical data of Puan Fatima Abu Bakar, which will bring benefits to the intended users and society as it is difficult to find in any gallery, library, archive or museum in Malaysia. And last but not least is the commercialization potential of this project. This project is mostly suitable for educational purposes and also for public review. The main aim for this oral history project are student and researcher that searching for additional information about veteran celebrity and the film industry itself. As well the main figure of this project, Fatima Abu Bakar's information are currently not available in gallery, library, archive and museum in Malaysia or known as GLAM. Therefore, this project provides adequate information regarding the figure biography and her opinion on the film industry. And that's all from us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.